Kia ora, and welcome to day two of Month Done, and a month of mindful moments with tangling. Yesterday, we did Marasu, and it has left us with a couple of string lines. Just where the edge of the Marasu goes over, I'm just going to transpose those two points on the side of the page. So, with your string lines to start at the edge of the page, we want to dance a few stems as we're branching out across as if there is a vine here. And each time we're going to use a curved line to then stop and add a tangle at the end. It doesn't matter how you go across this paper, it will be fine. So just with the Marisu here, I'm just gonna grab my pen and these are gonna give me my lines. And I'm just gonna finish off as if I was just gonna do one more Marisu drama line here, as this will then give us a little bit of a focus in which to start branching out these stem lines. So when I talk about stem lines, I want to do uh, two tangles this time, and I'm going to use these uh, as, as almost as I like to think of them as cousins, Zinger and Springle from Zen HQ. And so each of these need a little stem line that's just going to grow up out of the end of Marisu. And once we have our stem line, for Zinger, we're going to draw the letter C just on the end of it, just reaching from stem line to stem line. And then we're going to draw another one because we just want to make it slightly bigger. After that, we're just going to draw these curved lines, these C shapes, just piggybacking off each other, one at a time, getting smaller and smaller, and you can finish with a flourish, if you like. And from the stem line again, I'm just going to draw another one. This time it's got a bit of a wiggle on. Yours might have a wiggle on too. Think of that C shape just on the end from stem line to stem line. Then a slightly bigger one. And then some smaller ones that piggyback off each other. You can add a little bit of sparkle if you like. You can add a little curve to it. It doesn't need to be a straight zinger. So you can see these two branching up and out. However, I talked about having a cousin. That's the way I like to think of these particular tangles. And this little cousin has a slightly longer stem coming out on mine. And this time we're going to draw Springle. So when you get these two stem lines that appear here, I'm just going to take the one that's slightly longer and I'm going to close it up until it's a little spiral. You can add a little bit of drama in the middle if you want. And the second stem line just comes in and closes off that spiral. Almost looks like a koru fern. And with this different start, we'll then proceed to add the same C curves pigging backing off each other as we had on our zingers. You might choose to give it a slightly different top. So here we are branching out of our previous. You might want to draw a little bit of drawing behind. And slowly add these zingers and springles across your day two page. Once you have enough coming out of the main Marisu base, we can start branching them off the individual stems that you've already built. Add a little sparkle, just a small pause or gap in the line as you're going. Each time you add a new individual element on this tangle, Just gently focus on where your pen is going, 
heading out across the page carefully, thoughtfully and with a bit of focus. I don't know whether there's an easy way to draw this. Some people like to draw it coming down towards you with your pen lines. Other people like to go from left to right. Just rotate your little notebook and make it work for you. I like to draw these both together. Think of them cousins playing together in a field somewhere, gently working their way, moving their way across the field, laughing and playing together. Add a little sparkle, a little bit of sunshine into each of these repetitive piggybacking C curves. As you build this, you don't need to be as leggy as me. Perhaps some of yours are quite close together, not branching across the page. And don't forget to include a little bit of drawing behind sometimes as you're slowly working your way across your page. You might add a few more than I have here, in which case I hope you can just relax and just enjoy adding little zingers and sprinkles, little cousins as they play together and cross your page. For shading, because I would say that this type of tangle looks like it should be an organic growth, I tend to just pop a little bit of shading just down one side of all these little zinger and sprinkle elements. Just giving it a little shadow which I'll gently smush with my patortion. As well as a little bit of shading on the edges of them just on my zinger where my stem lines go into the first of the C curves. I'm just going to add a short little bit of graphite just as if it was a shadow. And perhaps you might do the same where some of your stems join out from a previous one. So as this tangle proceeds to head across your page, gently vining between and disappearing in amongst each other, you can see them playfully playing across. Spread and enjoy adding your zingers and sprinkles together. And perhaps these two are just like tangled flowers. Which brings me to today's prompt, I can smell. So what do you really focus on when you head outside? Perhaps you've taken a tea or a coffee outside and you're standing there just gently bringing the scent of that tea or coffee into your mouth. Or perhaps if you've headed outside and take a walk, you can really notice and smell. Just spend a moment to see what you can smell and add it to your prompt today. 
best wishes and catch you tomorrow to continue on our journey. If you are working off a single notebook on a page a day, perhaps your spread from day one to day two looks something like this. And we'll just head off with a line at the end, or a couple of lines.